Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of PKB Inspire. I'm always reminded of the African proverb that says that until the lion learns to write, tales of the hunt would always glorify the hunter. This means that whoever has the responsibility to tell the story of a people, whoever has control over the narrative, ultimately dictates to posterity what is remembered as history. In this episode of PKB Inspire, we are going to draw inspiration from Thomas Fuller, who is noted to be one of the most extraordinary arithmetician and computational wizards of his time. Although he was a slave, he still had this unique ability that history remembers him for. Stay tuned. <laughs> Today we are going to draw an inspiration from a remarkable arithmetician and computational prodigy. His name is Thomas Fuller. Thomas was born in 1710 somewhere in West Africa. At the age of 14, he was trafficked and sold into slavery. Later, he was sent to the United States. Thomas Fuller had extraordinary mathematical abilities. At the time, the notion was that black people were not intellectually equal to white people. In 1710, when Fuller was around 70 years old, he was visited by two men who had heard of his extraordinary abilities. The men therefore challenged him to some computational mental work. Among the many questions they asked Fuller, two are notable. First, they challenged him to calculate how many seconds there were in a year and a half. In about two minutes, Thomas Fuller gave the answer. 47 million 304 thousand seconds. The second question the man asked Thomas Fuller was for him to calculate how many seconds a man who has lived for 70 years, 17 days and 12 hours. Thomas Fuller accurately answered in less than two minutes, giving the answer to be 2 billion 210 million 500,000 and 800 seconds. This answer that Thomas gave was immediately refuted by one of the men. He challenged Fuller saying that his answer was a bit too high, to which Thomas Fuller answered, Master, you forget the leap year. The men immediately recalculated their answer, this time factoring in the leap years, only to prove that Fuller's answer was correct. They were resentful, but they had to accept Fuller's answer because he was right. The men began to publicize the observation of Fuller's extraordinary computational abilities and later submitted these findings to the Abolitionist Society of Pennsylvania. Thomas died in 1790 at the age of 80 years. Thomas Fuller was just one of the many extraordinary men and women who were trafficked from Africa and were sold into slavery. Imagine the scholarly articles that were never written, the inventions that were never created, the music that were never composed, the visions that were never realized, the men and women in history who paved the way for us to be part of society. I hope that Thomas Fuller's story has injected some inspiration into you. Until then, see you in the next episode.